Now it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up out of Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. But the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Now when the angels went back into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they hurried into Bethlehem, and they found Mary and Joseph, and the babe was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning the child. And all they that heard them wondered at those things that the shepherds had told them. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds left again for the fields, praising God for all the things they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. Now when Herod heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And he gathered together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, and demanded of them where the child should be born. And they said, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor who shall rule my people Israel. Then King Herod privately called the wise men together, and he inquired of them just what time the star appeared. And then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the young child, and bring me word again, that I too may go and worship him. And when they had heard the, the Herod, they departed. And lo, the star that they saw in the east went before them, until it stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they went into the house, they found the young child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and gave to him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way.